However, I didn't come here to talk to Hachijotoya, the mystery novelist. I'm interested in Itai, Itai Kukere, Regoname, the mysterious web author who only released her works over the internet. Around the Japanese parts of the internet, Ita, Itaka, Itai, Itai Kukere, Kukere, Itai Kukere. Is an extremely famous witch hunter. However, she isn't a big opinion reader like Professor Otsuki. She's one of those message bottle forgers who are always the center of vigorous debate. Message bottle forgers are, as the name suggests, people who forge and post the contents of what purport to be mysterious message bottles detailing the events of the Rokenjima incident. They claim to have discovered a new message bottle and post either a very similar account of its story or a new theory with their own interpretation of the truth. All of which are supposedly written by Usharamiya Maria. In so doing, they openly take on the name Usharamiya Maria, writing up new bizarre tales as if they've been present themselves and knew the truth. They then send these stories out into the newest sea discovered by humankind, the internet, claiming that it's a third or fourth message bottle. All the first forgers were either simple pranksters or crooks trying to swindle collectors. Eventually, though, people who claimed to have solved the riddles of the message bottle tales and reached the truth started to appear and they started creating original works of their own, third and fourth message bottles from Ushirami and Maria, as though they had moved over to the riddle teller's side. These people rewrote the tale of the witch with whatever interpretations they wanted. Every once in a while, parts of their theories would gain big followings on the net. Some of these creations grew to be so widely trusted that they were believed to contain some grain of truth. The more rigid witch hunters openly despised these people, calling them forgers, counterfeiters, or just witches. Though they claimed to have reached the truth, they were refused to tell anyone and created fake message bottles as though testing everyone else. It was no surprise that more straight-laced witch hunters were seriously annoyed by these forgers. However, among those who simply liked to entertain themselves with the occult fantasy of Rokinjima, an extremely small number accepted these creations as literary works, glad of these additions to the mysterious tale. Itai Kukuro was the most highly regarded of these forgers. End of the Golden Witch. That was episode four. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, especially like someone's little sister getting diced to bits or something anyway. In a religious forgery, end. No, end was the last one. Episode 4 was Alliance. End was the one we just read. Right. Okay. In her latest forgery, End, she killed off seven members of my family, at least during the actual story. Now, if you count Alliance and Banquet, the other forgeries she's made before now, then she's killed off most of my family in horrible ways, over and over again. Of course, I want to complain. However, all of her works are known for being, in both form and level of perfection, the closest tales to those written by Usharamiya Maria herself. In particular, Itai Kukuro's first forgery, Banquet of the Golden Witch, managed to fit everything, including Ushiramiya Eva's escape to Kuadorian. People wondered whether this might be the true story of Rokenjima, and even made it onto the talk shows. Yeah, and I fucking, I fell for it too. I believed it. So far, all of these tales have been nothing more than electronic text on the web. However, people will eventually realize that Itai Kukuro is actually Hachijotoya, when that happens, they'll become the works of that bizarre Hachijo, and no one will think of them as mere fan create. Well, as mere fan creations. People will probably start wondering if this might actually be a third message bottle she found and released under the guise of a story she herself wrote. When that happens, these stories will probably seem even more bizarre and credible. <laughs> そうしてあなたは自分の偽書に神秘性と信憑性を与える。信憑性とはそれを得てあなたの偽書は真実に昇華される。昇華。愚かそんなものを私の作品には必要ありません。なぜならあなたの作品は偽書ではなく、ええ
私のどこがそうだってのよ<笑> Fuck you, I'm cool <laughs> Angie half realized that she'd let her emotions get the better of her She let out a sigh and shrugged あなたがここへ来たり親族を義書の中で何度も殺めた私をなじるためではないでしょ I should have been smiling at Angie kindly but in a condescending manner Or else like a mother might watch over a very small child Angie realized this and was unable to suppress her irritation Apparently Amakusa could tell that Angie was getting worked up He joked around with her for a bit so that they could start the conversation over from the beginning あなたが私に聞きたい私の至った真実でしょうどうして真実に至ったと確信を全ての物語を理解したからですだからどうしてそうだと確信を太陽が地球の周りを回っていたことはあると思いますかあしよそんなにさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっさっかつて人間は天動説を支持していたしかし近代それは否定されたなら否定された瞬間に太陽は動きを止め地球がその周りを回り始めたというのだろうかそんなわけもな人間が何を信じようと真実は変わらないならば今あなたが私の真実を否定するのはつまりはそういうこと。The idea of heliocentrism was proposed by several scholars before Galileo. However, it was hard to objectively prove that theory using the scientific techniques available at the time. Even so, they didn't change what the truth was. And yet it moves. 真実はその立証のいかに関わらず真実だとそうです。これより未来、やがてすべての真実が明らかに私がすでに真実に至っていたと遡って人々は気がつくでしょう。Apparently, Angie just couldn't stand Hachijo's attitude. I can't blame her. <laughs> she kept getting irritated every time Makusa would joke around until she settled down again. However, there could be no mistake that Hachijo was a genius and had used her extraordinary intuition to form a most interesting outlook on the events that occurred on that island. That was why Angie had wanted to contact Itoi Kukuro and hear her views. Still, this meeting truly had been fortunate for Angie. She had been absolutely sure that Itoi Kukuro was Hachijo Toya. And she She hadn't thought that the publishing company would really contact the author. And moreover, she hadn't dreamed that the mysterious masked author would grant her an interview under such short notice. The more she thought about it, the more she realized that the sum of the events leading to this meeting made for nothing short of a miracle. Yes, a miracle. After all, in almost all cases, it had never been contacted by the publishing company and would leave for Nijima the next day. I'd leave for Nijima, then go on to Rokenjima. And then give Onechan a Saktaro stuffed animal. Huh? Why a Saktaro stuffed animal? My memory of the future is all muddled. My head hurts. Hachi just said something about showing Angie something good, rose from the sofa, and headed for the study desk. When she turned her back, Amakusa asked Angie, who seemed to be troubled by something, if she was okay. Ne, Amakusa, what is it? It's got a cock on you. Huh? Saki got a yours in a gushi, the nani go to the sky. Yeah, what is going on? What is she? It's got a cock on you, swat the noca. Mada never get in the sky? So the nocte. Mhm. Kukuk, Konoki, a chinichi. 何もできなかったんじゃなかったっけはあ、天草はあの大きな黒いバッグを受け取りに行ったんじゃなかったっけ That's right. Just before we left for Nijima, Amakusa and I part ways just one time. Said something about getting a weapon from an acquaintance of his and went to get that large black bag. Wasn't that today? What am I talking about? I mean. Didn't I go to Nijima? Meet Captain Kawabata? And inside the bed shop? Huh? Yeah, what was inside the bed shop? Because、uh, that was never explained to me. What? 
どうしました Did my confusion and uncertainty make me sigh out loud? Even though Hachijo's back was turned to me, she slowly turned around and smiled as though she peered into my heart. いいえ何も Strange memories, ones that even I can't understand. I tried to hide my confusion, but for some reason Hachijo had a strange glint in her eyes, so she could read my mind. She took a thickly packed brown envelope out of a locked drawer. It appeared to be filled to the brim with printer paper. Perhaps this was a manuscript for one of her works. The neat letters written with a fountain pen on the envelope spelled out the word Dawn. There was no forgery by the name of Dawn, which must mean. And she could tell, this was a new one. Hachijo's newest unreleased forgery. Dawn of the Golden Witch. すべてを知る Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Help me forget my illness. Uh-huh. Your illness, of course, being boredom, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're we're in the meta world right now, obviously. I mean, uh, this woman has not been subtle at all about the f <laughs> about her hints, yeah, you know, that she's dropping. Very clearly a witch of some sort. And this is Angie be like this this is one of my memories. Yes, I did try to contact Hachijo Toya, but in the end, I never got a chance to meet her. In other words, all this is a falsehood. <laughs> she finally couldn't hold it back and burst out laughing. Gradually, the space around them seemed to be filled with a strange purple mist. The room itself seemed to twist and bend. Whee. Her figure also twisted, and after something that couldn't be described elapsed, her form changed to become just what she had called herself. <laughs> after something that couldn't be described elapsed. <laughs> her figure twisted, something happened, and now she's different. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, dude. A witch. <laughs> the novelist sitting on the sofa was nowhere to be seen. Even Angie's bodyguard, who was supposed to be around at times like this, was gone. There was only a non human figure relaxing in a large, ornate rocking chair. <laughs> to be honest, I did doubt that those people would just let me go so easily. What kind of farce will I be forced to go along with this time? I really don't care. I'll just do whatever I can within the bounds of the role they give me. Whatever I can to help Ani-chan. Of course I understand. 
Even if he wins, he'll never come back to me. でもね、あがくわよ。あの日の私のところへお兄ちゃんを返すためにね。そう生きり立たずとも言う私がそなたに求める役割は、こう。じゃあ、何の用で呼び出したの?まさか、あんたの書いたとかいう新しい物語その通
<笑>その魔女らしい口調さえどうやらあんたの中では数百年ぶりに見せた敬意って感じがするわそなたは本を読むとき本に「よろしくお願いします」と語りかけてから表紙をめくるかそういうことよね理解したわ Despite agreeing to have a conversation with Angie, she was showing an incredible amount of respect and willingness to compromise. Angie shrugged, but she also nodded to show her consent. For her, acknowledging human names was like acknowledging the names of all the leaves scattered across the ground. So, her acknowledging Angie's name was a miracle. No, it was immensely good fortune. そなたが朗読を終えるまでそなたの朗読を妨げようとするすべてのものに災いを与えよう。When the witch of theater going, Featherine, spoke this, Angie was trapped, was trapped, was wrapped in a bright light. Wow, the witch of theater going. I don't know, that's just such a lame title in comparison, you know? Like you had Beatrice, the endless witch, and then. Burncastle, the Witch of Miracles, and then the Lambda, the Witch of Certainty, and then Erica got, you know, titled the Witch of Truth, and it's like these kind of like, these more abstract concepts and whatnot. And then it's just like, I'm the Witch of Watching Shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, damn, man. You run out of witches that quick, huh? I'm the witch of consuming media. Oh ho ho! <laughs> Bet you didn't see that one coming, did ya? Can't say I did. Angie didn't feel any particular change herself, but she definitely had been given something that only non humans could sense. It signified that from this point forward, Angie would be the witch of theater going subject. That didn't mean that Angie would gain some sort of special power. But at the very least, it probably meant that anyone wanting to cause her harm would first have to take on Featherine herself. Angie accepted her role. She would observe the story with the Witch of Theater going. The curtain was rising on the sixth tale. Okay. Okay. So Angie's back in it. You love to see it. Okay.